Hi, I'm David Bourne of Go Parallel. Today I'm going to be discussing multi-threading, specifically how to choose between OpenMP, Intel Silk Plus and Intel TBB. The other option is to roll your own thread code, but I'm not covering that today. All three methods offer thread parallelization and data parallelization, aka vectorization. So what are the alternatives? First is Intel Silk Plus. This comes as part of Intel Parallel Studio XE, Intel System Studio and Intel Native Developer Experience. There's also an open source version available from www.silkplus.org that's C-I-L-K-P-L-U-S. Note that the Intel compiler version also comes with a race detector and performance analyzer that's in the SDK. Intel Silk Plus is an extension for C and C++ programs that adds multi-threading in the easiest way possible using just two keywords silk underscore spawn and silk underscore sync uh, around a function call. The example shown uh, Intel Silk Plus is an extension for C and C++ programs that adds multi-threading in the easiest way possible using just two keywords silk underscore spawn and silk underscore sync around a function call it can sort 10 million ints in about a sixth of a second and that's pretty impressive let's have a quick look One hundred eighty-seven milliseconds. That's just under a fifth. Intel TBB is the more powerful and most complex of the Intel toolkits for threading, but it only supports C++. Short for Intel Threading Building Blocks, it's provided as commercially supported in Intel Parallel Studio XE and as an open source 43 meg download. The Intel TBB open source license is the same license used by the GNU Lib Standard C++ library in GCC 4.2.1 and earlier. According to one user survey, Intel TBB is the most popular threading model after Windows Threading. OpenMP is a specification for a set of compiler directives, library routines and environmental variables that can be used to specify high-level parallelism in Fortran and C++, C++ programs. It has been implemented by many vendors such as IBM, Oracle, Intel and of course GNU. Microsoft supports it but only up to OpenMP2. It's fairly easy to winnow out which of the toolkits you wouldn't use by virtue of the programming language. If it's Fortran, then OpenMP is your threading of choice. If it's C, then you use OpenMP or Intel Silk Plus. C++ has the widest choices and you can use any of the three, plus Intel Silk Plus works with Intel TBB as well. C developers have to choose between Intel Silk Plus or OpenMP. Intel Silk Plus is the easiest to start with as you can begin with just adding Silk Spawn and Silk Sync statements. You can also add in Silk 4 as that lets you have four loops executed in parallel. There's more to it than this though. For example, reducers, which are actually C++ class objects, help you eliminate data races with a shared variable called a reducer. Each thread has its own copy, but when the threads sync, all instances are reduced to a single variable. These, however, are only for C++, not C. If you're coding in C++ and using an Intel compiler on Linux, OS X or Windows 32 or 64-bit, then Intel TBB is probably the best to use. The compiler settings let you enable Intel TT. Let's have to show those. And you can see it's Intel TB we've got enabled here. The open source version is a bit harder to configure, but Intel do now provide a utility to set paths. You have to download that from their website. Intel TBB is my favourite though, it's a, though it's a close call between it and OpenMP. For instance, there are three concurrent container classes provided, that's HashMap, Vector and Q. The Intel TBB documentation is excellent on what really distinguishes the two. For example, it points out potential difficulties with locks and the best way to allocate memory using the scalable memory allocator. The sections on design patterns and task scheduling are excellent. There's quite a learning curve though, I wasn't aware, for example, of graph parallelism and that's something I still have to learn. As I said earlier, in many cases the circumstances put programming language, for example, will dictate your choice. Intel TBB is the most powerful, with OpenMP not so far behind. If you're dipping a toe then for the first time, Intel Silk Plus is a great way to get started fast. Thank you for watching this video. I'm David Ball with GoPower.